Hello guys, my name is Miguel and I'm the Director of Developer Relations here at XSplit. We've worked together with NVIDIA to provide you with better default encoding settings as well as more options when using NVENC across the majority of supported graphics cards. With the 9 and 10 series GPUs, you'll be able to get a video quality that is similar to X264's very fast preset. On the 16 and 20 series GPUs, the quality will be near or at par with X264's medium preset. To find these new options, go into the settings of a broadcast output, select NVENC as the codec, and click on the gear icon to show the extra encoding dialog. Enabling look ahead can improve visual quality by keeping a rolling buffer of future frames in memory to optimize the encoding of the current frame. However, this does add latency to the output of the stream and isn't recommended for use with high motion games like first person shooters. Using adaptive quantization should subjectively improve visual quality by automatically adjusting how the encoder compresses a frame based on its content. Normally, this shouldn't affect gameplay performance, but if you do encounter any issues, please disable this option. Using B-frames lets the encoder compress video better. For streaming, this is set by default to two B-frames as it provides a good balance of compression and frame latency. If you find that you are dropping frames due to insufficient bandwidth, try increasing this value to 4. Quality presets shift between giving the best quality video and encoding stability. Max quality enables two-pass encoding but may add a bit of encoding latency and may have problems with certain content. Performance may produce a lower quality video but it minimizes encoding latency and issues. Quality tries to be a middle ground between max quality and performance. We hope this information helps you figure out the perfect NVIDIA NVENC settings for your content. If you have any questions, make sure to join us on Discord or reach out to us in our social media channels.